Well, Hubble has been uh, in orbit now for almost 18 years. Uh, April will be the 18th anniversary. Um, it's really been, I think, much more successful than anyone would really have anticipated. I mean, when Hubble was designed, uh, there were a number of projects that were thought key projects for the observatory, and it would go and do those, and we'd learn more about the universe, and indeed it's, it's done those. But, you know, along the way, it's been much more effective in, in doing a very broad range of astronomy than, than was imagined. And, you know, in fact, I think it's true to say that it's revolutionized astronomy. It enabled uh, views to be obtained of the very distant universe uh, that were unglimpsed, unthought of when, when Hubble was launched. And I think it was rather quickly realized once Hubble had been repaired after this first servicing mission in 1993, it was realized that Hubble, although it's a modest sized telescope compared with some of the telescopes we have on the ground now, uh, it was able to see objects very early in the history of the universe. In this servicing mission there will be two brand new instruments going up and there will be attempts to repair two of the instruments that have failed. And if all of that is successful, we'll have a spacecraft which is far more powerful than it's ever been before and could last for quite a long time. I mean, nominally I think it's five years that NASA are, are anticipating, but uh, it could be longer than that. These big telescopes uh, uh, that look back, I mean, they're, they're really time machines. In fact, I, I think it's an, amazing, it's an amazing intellectual concept that you can take a telescope, you can look very deep, you can take very long exposures, and you can look back to the early history of the universe. These are objects actually, you know, in the early history of the universe. We see them as they were then, going on. And then we, you know, we just move the same telescope and we look at a nearby galaxy, and it's a fossil record of what went on then. So we're using the telescope as a time machine. You know, one moment we're looking back, uh, you know, 13 billion years, and the next moment we're looking at our neighborhood and we're finding out what all of that turned into. It's the same telescope.